Primitives have their normals facing outward, so their surfaces are visible from a vantage point outside the objects. And this works in most cases. You've seen how it's possible to flip individual normals so the surfaces will show up on the opposite side. For example, I'll flip the teapot body so now we're looking at its inner surface. In fact, I'd like to see both inner and outer surfaces of this teapot at the same time. There are many situations where you'd like to do this. The need commonly arises when you're importing geometry from other programs. Normals are stored within each object, and they're often lost in translation. Sometimes it's easier to display both sides of a surface even though it takes a bit more memory and render time. I'll show you several different ways to force two-sided surfaces to be displayed. First of all, you can display that in the viewport by going to the viewport menu and choosing configure. Check force two-sided and you'll see both inner and outer surfaces of the teapot but this is only happening in the viewport. If I make a quick test render, you'll see that only the inner surface is visible here in the rendering. If you want the rendering to have two-sided surfaces, go to the Render Scene dialog and check here. Now when I do another test render, both surfaces are visible but be aware that this can take more time in a complex scene. I'll uncheck Force Two-Sided and I'll go back in here and turn off Force Two-Sided in the viewport. Another way you can do this is with layer and or object properties. First of all I'll open the Layers toolbar and open the layer manager. I'll also unhide some objects that I've already made. So the green teapots here are on layer 1 and I can control their properties with the layer. I'll right click on layer 1 and go to layer properties. Here in the Display Properties group, you'll find Backface Cull. And Cull means to remove, so this removes the backfaces by default. In other words, it displays a one-sided surface. I'll uncheck that and click OK. Now I can see both inner and outer surfaces of all the objects on this layer. So this is a powerful way of giving two-sidedness to a collection of objects. Just control them with their layer. A more specific way and finer way of controlling objects is by using object properties. This object has its display properties set by object, not by layer. So in this case I can uncheck backface call here and give two-sidedness specifically to this object. Finally, I'll show you one other way that you can give two-sidedness to objects, and that's with a material. I'll unfreeze some objects I've made down here. These are copies of these other teapots. And I'll select these three which are on different layers and they have different properties. I'll open the material editor right here. And here I have a basic material and I will assign it to my selection like that. Finally, check two-sided in the material. And this is another way that you can go and give two-sidedness to a collection of objects through their material. So there you have it. You should force two-sidedness on as few surfaces as possible to conserve memory and render time.